everybody, it's Claire. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna do a drugstore makeup tutorial for you guys, and I'm just gonna be a get ready with me. I'm gonna talk to the camera and use some products I haven't tried yet, so I hope you guys all enjoy this video, and let's go ahead and get started. I'm taking two foundations that I've really been enjoying. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, and honestly, it reminds me a lot of high-end full coverage foundations that I've tried. I'm actually mixing two shades together. I'm going to mix Classic Tan because I did use a little bit of Self Tanner yesterday. Mix it in with my Natural Beige shade, which I've been using consistently on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm just gonna work those two colors together and hopefully it gets my skin tone. So I did do a little bit of Self Tanner for the Ed Sheeran concert last night. He came to Verizon Center last night in DC and it was just the best time. He is so wonderful live he's such a humble guy on stage and it blows my mind that it's just him the entire time with his loop machine he just really engages with the audience and gives great music and the actual visual production is amazing whoever does the visuals does a fantastic job highly recommend going to see him if you guys get the chance now i'm going to try the l'oreal pro glow concealer i'm so excited to try this actually really reminds me of the maybelline fit me i'm using the shade Creamy natural. I'm already really liking this. I'm going crazy with it. Press that in. Looks like a more like medium coverage type of concealer. Really realistic for every day. I haven't even opened this yet. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Powder. And I'm gonna go for the shade Nude Beige. There's a shimmery top, if you can kind of see in the camera, and then a matte bottom. So you get the option of having a glow to your skin or just matte. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna swirl into both because I don't mind a little bit of the glow. I do like setting my makeup just because if you're running around, you want it to not slip and slide. It does make a difference, especially before you go in with bronzer and you don't have that patchy look. I'm gonna try out this Master Bronze Bronze and Highlight Powder. So you get these two highlighters here and then these two bronzing shades, one matte and one has a little bit of almost like gold reflex in it. So I'm actually gonna go for the one with the gold reflex. I think that'll be really nice to kind give my skin a little bit more shape to it. I'm really thinking about getting contact soon because it's so hard. I'll think like everything looks blended in my little viewfinder, but sometimes when I go back and edit and I'm like, what was I thinking? It's just so hard for me to see. I've never had contacts before. I think I've only worn contacts one Halloween two years ago and it was so hard for me to put in. I definitely feel like I need to face getting some so I can actually have a vision when I'm applying my makeup for you guys on camera. For my brows, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill Wand and it has the dual sided tip so you could use this side to brush out the hairs, which I actually really like these spoolies to do that. It really makes a difference. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit on the back of my hand. Sometimes these need a little bit of help to get going. Not overdo my eyebrows. I just kind of want to fill in where there's gaps. And do like little hair like strokes. I think I say little hair like strokes every time I do my eyebrows. I think it's really key to kind of just keep it really natural but just giving it a little bit more framework by just kind of focusing on the outline of your natural shape. Sunlight is really cooperating with me today. I'm just so happy I have good lighting to film for you guys. For the eyes, I was really intrigued by this L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallic Eyeshadow in Cage. So I'm gonna do a cool tone eye. Every time I think of fall looks, I do golds and burgundies. So I'm gonna stick with more of a cool tone on the eyelids for now, so I'm gonna just use my finger and dip into here, and I'm so excited to see what the payoff will be like. Oh my gosh, it's so rich. So I'm just gonna take this and put it right on the center of my eyelids. Wow. I barely prepped my eyes with like anything. I think I just ran a little bit of foundation on top of them, but that's it. Look at that payoff, that's incredible. Okay, these are amazing. It almost looks wet. I love eyeshadows you can kind of just blend out with your finger. Makes it so easy. Why can't all makeup be like this? Okay, now it's probably time where I should blend this out. So I'm just gonna take a clean brush and go on the edges. So pretty. It's almost giving like a duo chrome effect when you blend it out into the crease. It's almost kind of darkened right there. Now I'm going to go into this 24K Nudes palette by Maybelline, and I'm really drawn to this shade up here. I think it'll complement 
this caged eyeshadow that I just put on. But what I'm gonna do is actually just press that on the outer portion of the eyelid and almost start creating a little bit of an eyeliner look but using this eyeshadow. And this is probably where I should have done my face makeup second, but we'll make this work. This color is so pigmented. What a beautiful range of eyeshadows. You get kind of like these neutral tones in here. You have really bold shimmery shadows too on the bottom. I just love that variety. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the L'Oreal Super Slim Infallible Eyeliner. I have not tried this yet and I love trying different liquid eyeliners, especially if there's one that can compare to Kat Von D's Trooper, I'm always comparing against one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and try this. Definitely very black, which I like. The applicator is just a little bit stiff. That would be my only negative observation about it. Ah, eyeliner on camera is always so hard. I'm trying out the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Mascara. So curious about this. Okay, what's going on here? So it has, oh, it's a really skinny wand like this. And try it out and see what it does. Mm. It's kind of a mascara you really need to take your time with. I feel like I'm literally brushing out my lashes, like taking the time to groom them. Yeah, it's definitely more of a daytime mascara. Probably not going to suit this look very much, but it is combing them through and giving them a lot of tender love and care. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and apply some false eyelashes off camera, come back and finish off the rest of the look. So I did just add some Ardell Wispies with some Revlon Lash Glue. A lot of you guys ask what I usually use and those are my favorite. And I think I like this look a lot more with lashes. Um, maybe it's the mascara I didn't really love or maybe I just didn't really give it enough of a chance. Now I'm going to apply one of my favorite products at the moment. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in shade number 100. And I love using it on this Real Techniques brush and applying it the apples of my cheeks usually just gives me this beautiful highlight here and it just looks so natural it definitely is a dupe for champagne pop by becca i've been loving this so i'm torn between two lip shades and this is another new product from l'oreal from their pro matte line and is their infallible lip stains and it's their liquid lipsticks i should say i think i'm gonna go for this really rich berry color this one is called rose blood so i think the like a cool tone uh eye makeup with this kind of bold lip will be really nice this is my first time trying this out so you guys are going to see how it looks on camera with me i like the shape of the applicator that it goes down to a tip so you can actually get into the corners of your mouth It almost has like a mousse type texture. I don't love that when I keep going on top of layering on top of itself, it starts to kind of skip and move the product. Let's start on the top lip here. I don't think you could get any more of a fall lip than this. It is very dramatic, and I almost don't see it drying down at all. It seems like it's gonna have this shine. It has almost like a little bit of a tacky feel when my lips get caught pressed together. But, oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever wanted a makeup look like this. I was not expecting it to be this dark. Wow, for a drugstore makeup product, I don't think I've ever seen anything this dramatic. Um, it's almost pulling black for me. I almost see black in the viewfinder. So this one, I like it. I think it's starting to dry down, but it's gonna keep having that shine to it, which is kind of fun. I will have to keep you guys posted when I wear this. Maybe I'll put in the description box to make sure you guys check that out to see how long wearing it is, how I like it over the course of time. But it was a little bit of a struggle to put it on, but once it's on, I kind of like am obsessed with this color right now. It's so dramatic. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. These are some of the new products that I have been uh, holding to try for you guys on camera and I hope you guys uh, thought this was helpful. I think the heroes of this uh, video were definitely the foundation. I highly recommend to you guys if you want an affordable full coverage foundation. Um, definitely check out the entire Infallible Pro Matte line. I'm not going to lie. I'm just very impressed by it all around. I think the concealer formula is really awesome. It reminds me a lot of the Maybelline Fit Me. So if you like like a medium coverage, super creamy, easy to blend. If you have dry under eyes, definitely check that out. Um, and I think the eyeshadow, the metallic uh, Infallible Paints eyeshadows were just outstanding just with the swipe of my finger it just really pops the maybelline push-up angel mascara i probably could have done without in this look all in all i hope you guys found this video helpful please let me know what you'd like to see in the comment section below next if you guys like the style video what you guys like from me especially with holiday season coming up i love your requests this time of year well any time of year but especially right now with so much fun content that is potentially coming up so I hope you guys all are having a great day and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.